good morning and welcome back to my channel so it's a new day new video and we are uh, going to a new destination today so uh, today is 4th of november and my bags are packed i am heading to myanmar So the process is something like this that you arrive, uh, you go for the immigration and just before the immigration they check all your documents uh, like your insurance, uh, you are supposed to buy a Myanmar insurance which is uh, mandatory for you to buy Myanmar insurance. Local insurance like our uh, Tata EIG and all will not work here and uh, then you show them all the documents, your vaccination certificates, arrival documents and uh, then you have for the immigration. After immigration immediately you are taken to this uh, antigen test. It takes like few seconds to do this antigen test and then there is a waiting. This is the waiting zone, so you wait 5 minutes and then after your results you are uh, released, I suppose. So, just came out, got this uh, taxi from the taxi booth, already been heading to my uh, hotel. They took 15,000 uh, kyats from me. So I'm going to get uh, food. I arrived to my hostel. The problem, uh, what happened was that uh, I booked another hotel, but when I arrived, the hotel was closed. The hotel was closed, like the hotel was not uh, functional. So I'm going to get food, I'm just going to grab a taxi. So this guy is guiding me to a place called 19th street where uh, you can just find a lot of street food. So this is the uh, 19th street, a place here in uh, south side of the Yangon where I'm going to find some food. For tonight and explain the whole story again. down outside of the restaurant and order your food, your beer, quite interesting and a lot of interesting food choices. If you want to eat some uh, insects, there are some insects also, so fish, seafood, chicken, everything is available. So this is the 
this is all the food I have ordered. Fried prawns and uh, I don't know, like uh, stir fried or vegetables in a soup. The beer. Ambience is amazing. Just next to the restaurant and the sitting area, this man is cooking the cockroach. If somebody wants to have cockroach, can have also cockroaches. Perfect setting. So, uh, once yeah, again, yeah. welcome to the vlog. And uh, let me once again give you the proper information on what's happening today. I am in Yingu. Former capital of uh, Myanmar. The capital now is uh, Naypyidaw. So my plan is for ten days in Myanmar. I'll be going to tomorrow by night bus to Inle, which is a very uh, famous tourist attraction. I'll spend there I think two or three days, and then after that I'm going to Bagan. After Bagan, I will be going to Mandalay and uh, from Mandalay, I will return back to uh, Yangon again. But Yangon is a very happening place. I was not uh, like, so much aware that Yangon was going to be such a happening place. But it's a very happening place. Now, the story that happened with me is that uh, I booked a hotel through Booking.com, Backpackers uh, Wedding Breakfast. And uh, once I arrived to the location, I found out that this hotel is closed. Like many other hotels in uh, Yangon. Because of the Covid, because of uh, there are not so many tourists. Because even now in this market, that I've shown you right now, there are hardly like 3 or 4 percent of uh, tourists which are European or foreigners. Lavi, Lavi, Lavi. 95 percent people are fellow tourists. Join me in the journey of uh, exploration of Myanmar for the next 10 days. I will be showing you a lot of pagodas, a lot of adventurous things to do in Myanmar. And this place is uh, very cheap. Not even you can compare to Thailand or Vietnam. It's even better in terms of costing. So join me and uh, hope you like this vlog so this is for the one fried prawn one vegetables one this uh, this item and two beers remember this so 10 30 the market is almost empty People have already had their dinner. I'm going back. I'm also done with my dinner. I'll try to find a taxi now to my uh, hotel, hostel. from Yangon so it's uh, day 2 morning 9 am I have woken up got ready in my uh, hostel so I'm just going for breakfast now and uh, the program for today is that we are going to be doing some sightseeing in Yangon and uh, after that I'm taking a night bus to Inle Lake it's a place called Nuong Shui so I'm taking a bus to Nuong Shui So these nice people, they helped me with the bus booking. This is the uh, Myanmar traditional bread, this one. This is toast coffee. This is the breakfast I'm having at my hostel. In Yangon, getting around is quite easy. 
although they do not have a metro rail infrastructure but they do have a yangon circular railway which operates a 45.9 km 39 station commuter rail network that connects yangon satellite towns the system is heavily used by the local population selling about 150000 tickets daily you can other than this you can easily hop on a bus but the language could be a barrier to this taxis are a very convenient option and they do not cost a lot to go around the city and you can always bargain but it's always uh, very easy to get a normal taxi just wave at the driver and hop in other easier option is uh, grab taxi it's a tech based uh, aggregator similar to uber in other parts of the world so if you have internet access just download the grab app and start ordering a taxi or motorbike or even a tuk tuk from the grab app the prices are very reasonable so i didn't get to explore the option of a shared tempo but it seemed uh, it could be an exciting way to travel with the locals The city has a population of about 7 million people and the primary religion practiced practiced in Yangon are Buddhism, Christianity, Islam and Hinduism. Yangon boasts of uh, the largest number of colonial era buildings in Southeast Asia and has a unique colonial era urban core that is remarkably intact. The colonial era commercial core is centered around the Seoul Pagoda. I am approaching my first destination for today which is the Seoul Pagoda. It's uh, quite near from my uh, food hostel. Just walking 2 minutes. Oh. Also looking for that SIM card shop. If I am able to find that uh, MPT or Mitel and get this uh, eSIM activated. because it's very difficult uh, to the problem is that if you don't have internet connection then you will have to rely on the local taxis which might charge you uh, quite a bit here and uh, the good option is you can if you have internet you can use the grab uh, download the grab app and then you can like similar to like ola uber which is very convenient The Seoul Pagoda stands in the heart of Yangon in a roundabout marking the intersection of Mahabandula Road and Seoul Pagoda Road. While legends assert the pagoda was founded as far back as uh, 2600 years ago, the documented history of the pagoda only extends into the 15th century. Originally one of the many smaller pagodas in pre-modern Yangon, its importance grew after it was made the center of the colonial era city by british engineers following the conclusion of second anglo burmese war its critical position at the uh, nexus of major thoroughfares and its ease of visibility from around the city have made it an important rallying point for both the late 20th and early 21st century political protest The oldest component of this uh, pagoda is the core of central stupa. The core of the monument has never been subject to uh, archaeological examination. The monument centerpiece uh, is its classic uh, Burmese style stupa with a prominent flaring base, a bell-shaped body and a tall spire. Standing 46 meters high, it once dominated the surrounding landscape and still stands taller than most surrounding buildings. The pagoda is surrounded by four uh, worship halls and an outer ring of shops and ancillary structures that completely obscure the base from streetscape. While this creates an oasis of calm in the space between this uh, base of the pagoda and the surrounding roundabout, it reduces the virtual, uh, visual impact. Apart from the Seoul and the various uh, worship halls honor the most recent Buddhas, Gautama, Cassandra, Konang Konangamana and Kasapa whose relics were ultimately interred at Shwedagon with the Seoul Nats assistance
like why it's uh, as per days like tuesday wednesday oh, on the state test we run the or first day Okay, but uh, like why it's different days? Seven days, seven, seven days. Seven days, seven different. Uh. Okay. I I want to ask why it is uh, different days, like when one should pray. Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I will find out. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that was the visit to Seoul Pagoda, and uh, now I'm just going around it. On my back, you can see some church, and this is some another monument behind me. The women in Myanmar they apply a uh, special makeup on their face, which is uh, which is actually Thanaka wood. It's called Thanaka. It's a wood uh, paste mixed with water, which they believe uh, is. going to give them or it's like they believe they will get uh, good skin out of this uh, product so right now i'm in front of the another famous destination in yangon it's called the bogyak ong san market and in front of this uh, market you can see a lot of food stalls fruits some kind of idlis so this is another the uh, food market the food stalls and on the left and the right sides of food stalls on the left some uh, shops for basic grocery items I'm trying this um, uh, thing, something made out of rice. Yes. Okay. Okay. How much? Seven hundred. Seven hundred. So I give you thousand. I wanted to give them uh, give me half, but I think they have made two pieces. I wanted like. I'll have half, but I'll pay for uh, one. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Eight dollars. Ah, thank you so much. Kind of sweet with coconuts. Good taste. Sticky. Interesting. So if I describe it, it was uh, rice with uh, sugar syrup, some coconut, but it was very tasty. Not too much. I told them, uh, give me half. I'll pay for the full price. So what they did was. Uh, Dissected it into two. I made two pieces of it. It's a very uh, busy street. So if there are cars, you have to go back. You have to move back. 
quite interesting piece. So that's the uh, old Bogyok market and I think now they have constructed the new Bogyok market. It's more like a mall. It's on the other side. It says new Bogyok market. So this is like a big square and there are like small small shops but it's uh, I think more like a local market for the local people for buying their maybe in bulk So I sat down at this uh, nice street style coffee place and I'm having a nice tea. This is a nice tea with the actual, I think actual tea with milk but then uh, cooled down. This is how this uh, setup looks like. So it's my day one in uh, <coughs> Yangon and uh, I've spent like half day but I can already say that uh, the whole city is very clean. There are good footpaths for uh, walking lanes and the city is like uh, not that kind of you know uh, crowded and all. Everything is sorted, traffic is sorted. Maybe it's a Saturday that's why I feel like that but yes, it's calm. <laughs> 